Dude, man, hey, glad you can make it, man. Hey, come on in, come on in. We got some work to do. You showed up the nick of time. You could help me with this meatloaf. Never. Even if you don't like meatloaf, you're gonna like this one, man. Let's go. Now, when making a meatloaf, you wanna make sure that you have some really good ground beef. So here, this is actually some 93.7. Uh, didn't have any 80-20. I would love to have 80-20, but I don't have it. So that's a 93-7 ground beef. And I have a whole pound of that. And I have another pound of some nice Italian sausage, ground Italian sausage. So good. We got some nice white onions here. That's a whole onion. This right here, serrano pepper, folks. Give it a little spice. Spice is life, right? Of course, we have some W sauce. There's some salt and peppers and ground parsley. This right here, slap your mama, man. That's some secrets right there, some secret secrets. This here is some smoked paprika. We got our garlic, we have our breadcrumbs, some milk, and two eggs. And of course, some bread pans, just in case uh, we need uh, more than one meatloaf. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and ketchup, you know how that goes. That goes in everything, right, when it comes to meatloaf. First thing we're gonna do is take our meat and we're gonna mix it together because we need that meat to be fused together before we start adding other things to it, okay? Just break it down, mix it up, get it mixed well. Okay, now after that's mixed well, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our two eggs. Make sure there's no shells in there. Oh, and there's a little bit of shell. See, let me grab that real quick. I missed it, I missed it. Where'd the shell go? Oh, there it is, it's on my thumb. So make sure there's no shells in there, okay, folks? And we're gonna mix the eggs up. Mix them up and make sure they're mixed well. Make sure you don't see any bits of egg left, you know, but uh, you don't have to over mix it either because we're gonna mix some more ingredients in here. So we're gonna make sure that uh, everything fuses well together. Now, once we have the eggs in there, we're gonna go ahead and drop this W sauce in. Boom, fire W sauce. Ooh, it smells so good already. W sauce, man, I'm telling you, that is a secret. That is a game changer there. So now we're gonna go ahead, drop our breadcrumbs in. Kind of sprinkle those in there. Sprinkle in some breadcrumbs. Then mix it some more, adding our salt and pepper. Yeah, I like to make sure things are spread evenly. Yeah. Salt and pepper in there. Let's go and throw this parsley in. Get that in there. And let's go to slap your mama. All right? We'll do about half of that slap your mama right now. Start mixing it again. Here's some uh, smoked paprika. Here we go. Now the rest of the slap your mama stuff here. All right. Throw the garlic. Boom. And we mix some more. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw in the rest of our breadcrumbs. Now this is actually the bigger portion of it. Let's go ahead and throw in the milk and take care of that. Boom. All right. Now we're working. Now this is fun, right? So you can do this however you want because it's just, it's fun to do. You know, you can just kind of add the ingredients like a child and play with it, do whatever you want. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add all the serrano for the spice. Now we're gonna go with the white onion. Put all the onion in there too. The ingredient that we can never forget when you make a meatloaf. You can forget a lot of things. One thing you cannot forget is the ketchup. Mm, 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 mm. Then we're gonna put it in our pans. But the thing is, there's a trick because we're actually going to be smoking this. So we can't just throw it in the pan. Can't do that, folks. No way, no how. All right, so since we're gonna be smoking our meatloaf, we're gonna put it in this pan, but we have to do something first. The thing is, we don't wanna put our meatloaf in here and smoke it in this, because smoke is not gonna penetrate the sides. And that's gonna become a problem because we want smoke in the meatloaf. That's why we call it smoked meatloaf, right? So we can always put it in here and take it out of here, but it's not gonna come out very easy. So the best way is to throw some plastic wrap in, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the meat in here, and then we're gonna let it chill. Then we're gonna take it out and take the plastic wrap off, and then we're gonna smoke it. Okay, they're both in the freezer for about an hour, and then uh, we'll go ahead and pull them out. Oh, look at that. I left my oil outside and my oil froze. That is funny, I was wondering where that bottle went. Still works. Okay, so our meatloaf has been in the freezer for an hour. 
Now what we're gonna do is attempt to lift this out of here to see if it maintains its shape. Boom. There we got one. Now I did spray these racks down with cooking spray just so the meatloaf doesn't stick. Boom. Oh snap. That was too easy, too easy. All right, look at that. Look like meatloaf to me, folks. All right, so the meatloaf is in the smoker and we're gonna go ahead and drop this down and cook it at 275 for, you know, an hour or so. Then we'll come check on it. 126, all right, so we're not there yet. When you get to 160 degrees, they are looking fantastic. Sorry, I don't have a light. Let me see if I can get my phone on here. Boom, look at that shit. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. And we haven't even put the glaze on yet, folks. All right, so it's time to make our glaze. We have cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And we have some heated up brown sugar, which we absolutely must have in the glaze. So good. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in some ketchup, Red wine vinegar, not much. W sauce, splash splash. Sriracha. Boom. Previously mentioned dry ingredients. Boom. Like that. Then guess what? You know what we're gonna do? We're going to marry these ingredients. See what we have. Oh my goodness, fire. Into the out we go. All right, so we'll just brush this glaze on here. Try to do it fast so we don't uh, lose all the heat. All right, so we've had a 15 minute rest period on this small meatloaf. And we'll go ahead and put it over here and get it off of this uh, little rack. Keep the knife nice and flat. Don't cut ourselves, and we are there. We're gonna take a piece from the center. Look at that. See the nice little smoke ring around it? Look at that smoke ring, man. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. You guys have been patient with me. This take a, this was a long cook, long cook today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys have the first bite here, man. Taste it, tell me what you think. Was it good? Well, I mean, did it taste good? Come on, man, don't lie to me. I mean, if you didn't like it, just tell me you didn't like it because I mean, don't lie. How can I make it better if you don't? Here, try again. It's good, it's really that good? Okay, I'll try it and see. Mmm. Interesting. Tastes like steak almost. Hold up, hold up, try again. Hmm. You're right. You're right. That tastes great. Man, man, that's so good. I'm glad you're here with me in the kitchen today. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, share it with somebody. Hey, if you have any tips or pointers for me, things I can do different with the meatloaf, go ahead and put that in the comments. Put it in the comments. I read the comments. Man, I'm hungry. I gotta go, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.